All right, guys, so we are back with another Friday feature. As you saw before, the front of this house is at the very back of our modular village in Greenville. We're probably one of the few lots that has this. We have a ton of selection for you to actually walk through. We really want you to come and see this house in person. So I wanted to start out by pointing out this beautiful stained glass inside our front door of this home. Now, I will tell you a little bit of features about this home. This is our Key West in our Greenville location. From here, from about here down is not wood, it's carbon fiber. So it will never rot. You don't have to worry about rain getting in here, water getting in here, you know, and rotting out the, the, the bottom here ever. It's carbon fiber. You don't have to worry about it. So you come on in here. We do have our laminate, our LVP and here. Now, when you order this home, this home is sold over a lot, but we can order it, which is why we wanted to tour it. So if you order this home, you can put this throughout your home. And this manufacturer is pretty much comparable with price wise to Lowe's. So very, very beautiful. And it's a shawl flooring and shawl is just great. So we do have a coat closet right off the entryway here, which is really nice to have. Put your coats, everything. Super, super nice. So if we come on in here, I wanna show you, this is a four bedroom by the way. This is the front living room. This is what I personally call the Christmas room. So what I would do <laughs> is put up a nice tall Christmas tree right here in the middle of these two windows. And I'd have a couple of chairs in here and you just have it nice for Christmas. You have it kind of sectioned away and you put all your Christmas decorations up throughout the rest of the house. But also that's pretty whenever people are driving right up your driveway, you have these two beautiful windows and you see the big Christmas tree at Christmas time. So we're gonna walk this way because that way is the master and that's last. So this house has a really big kitchen. Now, one of the couple of features you can do in here is you can add a center island. I've actually sold a house that we added a center island, which makes it really, really nice. Some people like it, some people don't. You know, it's personal preference at this point. These homes are custom ordered and custom built. If you don't like the cabinets, great, change them. Don't like the appliances, great, change them. Don't like anything, great, change it. <laughs> Draw it on a napkin and bring it to us and we can do it. Um, these are hardwood cabinets and doors. They are, they have the dovetail. You've heard me talk about this manufacturer before. It is a really well built home. So a secret in this home, we'll wait for the four bedrooms. I want to go ahead and go up. Now this, you heard me say go up. Not many houses we sell have an upstairs or an unfinished upstairs, but this one does. It has a 912 roof pitch and I want to walk you up there, even though my camera lady probably is going to hurt me. But we're gonna walk you up there. I wanna show you how massive this space is. So it's through the laundry room, and it, you shut the door, and it looks just like another closet, and we do have an exit door here as well. Now, there's a closet over there, right next to your laundry, which is really, really nice. But what I wanted to show you is up here. So, we have an unfinished upstairs. Now, we can finish this upstairs on site for you once the house is put together. Um, of course, for additional cost, but it can be done. It can add an extra three to four bedrooms up here very easily. So as we walk up these steps, and try not to give out of breath, or at least I won't try to get out of breath. <laughs> All right, guys, so we did make it up the stairs. I didn't fall even though I almost did. Anyways, <laughs> I wanted to show you, if you look behind me on this side, this is the full length, this is 76 foot long. Essentially, what we've done is put a single wide on top of your double wide. <laughs> it's about 1,500 square feet up here, so it's actually bigger than a single wide. But you can finish this off. We're standing in what I would make one of the bedrooms. And then, honestly, you, we've already ran the plumbing through the roof or through the ceiling. So you can take and make a bathroom up here. You can make it totally open all the way to the end. You can stick a bedroom at the end where the window is. So you can, it's a four bedroom downstairs. You really can make this a six bedroom very easily with a nice family room and a bathroom up here. No problem. So, and it's still really good size ceilings. I'm six foot and my hand is just above this bar. So it doesn't feel cramped once we finish the drywall or anything like that. It just makes it super nice. One thing I will point out, if you saw in the front, this massive dormer. Now we didn't cut this out on our lot, but this would be cut out and there will be a seat 
that goes here or an extra little bit of space that you could put there. I know it's kind of hard to picture in a video, but that dormer would have a window. So it actually would add more natural light up here as well. And if you want to, we can add a dormer on this side and add a window in it, mm -hmm. the whole nine yards. But this house is 76 foot long, 26 or 28 foot wide. So it makes for a really big space up here. And it's just wide open. I mean, there's the potential is endless. So I'm going to try to make it back down the stairs without falling. I will see you in just a minute. Oh, by the way, I said I was going to fall. I'm just clumsy. So we put handrails and everything in our houses when we do upstairs. So don't worry about that. We make sure everything's up to code and safe for you. But I'm going to try to make it downstairs. I'll meet you downstairs. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're back walking through the kitchen. As you can see, it kind of is really, really big, goes into the family room. We're back, at, we're in our Key West. I said back, we were there. I mean, for you, it was 10 seconds. For me, it took me a few minutes to get out of the stairs. But, <laughs> so we do have a really nice open floor plan coming this way. We have three other bedrooms on this end of the homes. And I do want to point out that it is really customizable to however you'd like. I'll show you one of these bedrooms, and the other three are pretty much the same. So we do have the nine foot smooth ceilings in here. Now, crown molding can be added into this home. We did it as an option without just to kind of show the difference. Does have the nine foot, does have smooth ceilings, and it has a really good size closet in here as well. We have sold a ton of these homes. They are perfect for big families that really need to get into a nice home on a good price. So I don't remember what the price is now, but I know back in the day, it was a really good price. Uh, we do have a second bathroom here. We have a Jack and Jill, but you notice this is a pretty big width. So we do have a really good size second bath. I love that this bathroom has a linen closet in it for the kids. We do have a really big tub in here as well. So you can have a place for your kids to take baths, especially when they're little. You know, you have a place to actually sit them down, bathe them, and they can enjoy their time. You don't have to worry about, <laughs> you know, rushing off. We do have the vanity here that matches the cabinets in the kitchen. And we do have a nice mirror, porcelain sinks, nickel finish faucet, the whole nine yards. This is an off frame stick built modular. So it comes in off the wheels, frames, carriers, axles, everything, and gets put onto a permanent foundation. So last thing I want to show you is the master. So meet me in there. All right. So we're on right off the main door coming into the main suite or the master suite of this home. It is huge. <laughs> this carpet is, I don't know if you can feel it. I know you can't see it in it, but it's just so nice and soft and plush. Really, really high end carpet we put in here. Again, this smooth ceilings. Now, one feature that most everybody loves, I'm not gonna shut the door, I don't know why I'm shutting the door for either way, is this closet. It has a his and a hers side, both. So come look. So you walk in and you're like, oh, that's it? No, come over here. And there's another side. <laughs> so this closet is really big and that's what, it's one of the main reasons it sells this house. It has a window in it. You really could take out this wall and make it a whole bedroom. <laughs> it really could be like a nursery. Oh, that's a good idea. It could be a nursery if you have a baby on the way, then you can just add the racks later. Smart thinking. Anyways, <laughs> so come on in here. We do have a really nice tile shower and we do have a double vanity sink as well. This shower is massive. It's about eight foot. And you know, we do have the transom window up here. We actually have the Amazon rain head from the ceiling. Not many people have that. So when it, when it says rain head, it actually feels like rain because it's coming from straight above. Uh, then you do have the wand, of course, over here to help you shower off and rinse the rest of your body. But a really nice tile. I love the glass inserts in this. And also we do have a separated water closet in here. Now, there is another closet. Has anybody ever seen a walk-in linen closet? If you have this many tiles, you take too many baths. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so you have a walk-in linen closet here. What I always tell customers, especially if you're ordering this, is let the wife have the big one and then just put a few racks in here for the men and then they have their own closet. Because <laughs> I don't think anybody has that many tiles. Well, and if they do, like I said, it, we got too many tiles. <laughs> so come on through here and walking back through this really big master. Uh, we'll, Take a, 
take a final detailed look of this home and tell you a little bit about this dealership. So again, this was our feature Friday. Um, we come to Greenville, North Carolina, we're right off of 264 in Greenville, on the other side of Greenville. Come see Tommy, Jimmy, Dick, or Glenn. They'd be happy to tour this house with you in person, and we want to earn your business. So, our phone number will be linked below, and all of our information will be in the description. Subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, give us a thumbs up, and leave a comment. See you next Friday.